The next thing we need to talk about is the parallel axis theorem. The parallel axis theorem allows us to find the moment of inertia of the water plane with respect to either the water plane centroid, which we will call the center of flotation, or with respect to the reference point. It all depends on where the moment of inertia was originally found. For instance, if the moment of inertia was taken at the reference point and we are curious what the value is at the center of flotation, we will use the parallel axis theorem to transfer the moment of inertia there. Likewise, we can do the opposite procedure as well. So let's say I have my forward perpendicular of my boat. And then this would be my base plane. And then I have my reference point. Now looking down on my boat, I have my water plane area. And I have my reference point. And of course, I'm only looking at the area at my draft. So that's why there's this gap in between my reference point and the beginning of my water plane area. I'm going to label this axis in convention with the guidelines as x and this axis as y. Now let's say I found my moment of inertia from my y-axis to be some value. Now my center of flotation is the point that I'm actually interested in for my moment of inertia. So I really want to move my axis here. To find my moment of inertia at my longitudinal center of flotation, I just need to take my moment of inertia that I already found from my y-axis, and from that I need to subtract my area of my water plane times my center of flotation distance squared, where my center of flotation distance is just this distance from my longitudinal center of flotation or my center of flotation point from my reference point. Of course, from CAD, it's much easier to calculate my moment of inertia directly from my uh, longitudinal center of flotation than going through these calculations. But this is how you would do it if you had to do it by hand.